And back now with the doctors. You've heard a lot about it, the Mediterranean diet. Dr. Samadhi, what is it? How do we do it and what should we eat? Eric, this is actually one of the most important segments that we're doing right now. New England Journal of Medicine, study coming from Spain, looking at 7,500 patients, follow up of five years. And this is the first time, it's a real landmark study that shows Mediterranean diet can reduce the risk of heart disease by 30%. That's significant because all these uh, statins that we've been giving to patients only helps them by 25%. All these studies about diet and food and nutrition and heart are all have been observational study except this one, which is a really good randomized study. And I like this Dr. Mar uh, Martinez from Spain, who's done an amazing job. Now, what are we talking about? You asked, we're talking about uh, extra virgin olive oil, about four tablespoons a day. Check. We're talking about salmon, fish, nuts are absolutely great for you fruits and vegetables, and really replace and push all that red meat and, and processed meat out of your diet. What you do is you don't want to have a drastic change, you want to do it very slowly. But this is a very significant and exciting one, and I think I encourage a lot of people to really start doing this. Fish, uh, chicken? Chicken they, and turkey? Is that so they left something mm -hmm. out. You're in Espana and you're not drinking red wine? Red or wine. Beer. A glass of red wine a day sangria? was part of this, absolutely. No, they still drink is that okay? Well, let me, t let me tell you about the study a little more. The study actually had three groups. In the first group, they took people, these are people that are in high risk of heart disease. They had high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Many of them were on statin drugs. They, they had family history. They smoked. And they said, what can we do to improve things? And one group they gave nuts to, walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds. The second group they gave olive oil to. And the third group they said, we want you on a low-fat diet. The problem with the third group, which is the control group, by the way, there is a problem with it, which is they didn't get exactly the low-fat diet they were supposed to get. And they didn't get the fish that the first and second group got. So it's not a perfect study, but I actually like it also, the same as David does, because I think it, ends, it adds more evidence to the fact that fish, that omega-3s, that, wall, that nuts, that olive oil, and even more important, Jamie, cutting down on that red meat, cutting down on that dairy, like we said in the first segment, eating more fish and poultry, all of that improves lifespan and decreases your risk. Now, in this study, it was stroke. It was mainly stroke that you had less risk of, but other studies have shown less heart disease. I think that this Mediterranean diet is the ticket. And one thing about you, you can't have chicken, have fish instead of the meat, uh, nuts. You don't want salted nuts. So we go get unsalted nuts, yes, right? Yes, that's, that's right. Important. But Eric, what's important about this is that they actually stopped the study in the middle because the result was really, really significant. That's really important. This is not one of these observational studies that we're bringing to you. It's a real deal, and I want people to pay attention to this. Start adding, not dipping the bread in the olive oil. Mm -hmm. Add olive oil to your salad, add nuts, and stick to healthy diet. That's more important than exercise and more important than taking some of these statins. I'm Dr. Right, Colby right. weighing in. Cut the stress if you can. We're going to go. We have an, a topic I'm particularly interested in, Eric, too. Um, but thank you both on sure. that, the Mediterranean diet for you.